On Tuesday, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, faced a fresh crisis during the House of Representatives caucus meeting. Allegedly, lawmakers aligned with the party's acting chairman, Umar Damagun, and FCT minister, Nyesam Wike, attempted to express confidence in Damagun, but their efforts were unsuccessful. The failed plot was as a result of resistance from a group of 60 PDP lawmakers campaigning for reform and rebuilding of the former ruling party that ruled Nigeria since the return to civil rule in 1999 up until 2015. Recall that the group known as G60 and led by Honorable Ikinga Ugo Chinyere, Honorable Ali Mustafa and Honorable Awaji Inombek Abiante, alongside other party stakeholders, had been clamoring for change within the party including the resignation of the acting chairman to enable the North Central Zone assume the position zone to them and for the commencement of disciplinary action against those they claim to be fighting the party. This triggered a number of reactions, including the caucus meeting and other tension soaked plots in the party and led to more advocacy groups backing the G60 and demanding the exit of the Magun, whom they accused of being a loyalist of the ruling All Progressives Congress, APC. On Tuesday, the majority of the PDP federal lawmakers refused to allow the meeting to take such a decision. The meeting was called by a loyalist of Wike, who served as River State Governor for eight years under the banner of the PDP, but is currently serving as a federal minister in the APC-led government. A source at the meeting narrated how the G60 stood their ground and insisted that it is time for the PDP to reorganize and end the alleged intolerable acts of sabotage and anti-party activities starting with the appointment of an acting chairman from the North Central and commencement of the party's reformation. They also called for disciplinary action to be taken for anti-party activities against former and present members allegedly sabotaging the party and working for the APC. The lawmakers are also insisting on total reformation of the caretaker PDP executive list at all levels without any tampering or inclusion of new names outside the earlier resolution that members of the expiring excos should act as party caretakers for three months pending the conduct of substantive election. They warned that any tampering in any state would be resisted and would not be acceptable. Very distinguished honorable members, men of the pen profession, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we have just concluded the third meeting of the People's Democratic Party caucus of the 10th Assembly, and we have resolved, firstly, to tell all of us and the world that the PDP caucus in the House of Representatives remain united, indivisible, committed, and out to perform her duty as the watchdog on behalf of the Nigerian people. In the same vein, we extract the security situation in our country and we resolve that we can no longer take this situation where Nigeria is today almost tagged as one life, one minute. minute silence. The government is therefore called upon to immediately take steps to ensure that the security situation in the country is normalized. And the caucus has also given three months ultimatum for government to normalize the security situation in our country. After three months, the caucus will take further steps to sensitize and mobilize Nigerians to perhaps take their security into their hands. The House of Representatives caucus also agreed to call on all party caucuses, the Board of Trustees, National Executive Committee, and the National Working Committee of the party to embark on reconciliatory measures with a view to resolve all litigations that are pending and that has hindered the party in any way whatsoever from having a substantive national chairman. 
we call on our leaders, leaders of the People's Democratic Party, to continue to demonstrate unconditional loyalty to the party and ensure that the party is moved to her pride of place where she enjoyed the position of the largest party in Africa and to take back the Asso Villa, which is actually supposed to be our birthright. And so, for us, we are going back as we resume the session to commence a strong, very, and purpose-driven opposition to give the people a voice in the parliament. We want to thank you, members of the press, and we want to thank you, gentlemen of this noble house, the Green Chambers. Thank you. God bless our party. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And in the same vein, we also call on the Senate leadership to please take step to recall our colleague, our senior brother, a veteran politician, a parliamentarian by excellence, Abdul Nengi. Thank you and God bless you.